I learned physically in my body, in my muscles, that when a problem was coming my way, I could simply turn out of the way. And it might resolve itself. I learned a little bit later on that when I turned out of the way, I actually saw a glimpse of what my troublemaker was seeing himself. So that was my first introduction to Aikido. I didn't do anything about it. I did something about it a few months later when my son was about this age. He was four. You're older than that, right? Okay. Well, my, my kid was four. He was four. <laughs> and he wanted to take karate. And I just thought it was really not a good idea to turn Sam loose, teach, teach him how to kick and hit, and, um, and then tell him not to do that. I just kind of knew that that was not going to work. So I went looking around for some place that he could train that had a white mat and white uniforms, and lo and behold, there was an Aikido school in town. So I enrolled Sam in Aikido. I played with Sam on the mat. I very quickly, probably within two weeks, enrolled myself in the adult programs, even though we didn't get to do frog and alligator <laughs> and, and I learned how to get out of the way. And, uh, but I had a problem. Uh, come back up. Because what you're supposed to do when you come at me is you step forward, okay? you get out of the way, you step forward, you throw your problem down, you throw them down again, you just keep your movement, feet moving and throw your problem down. Well, that wasn't what I was doing. What I was doing was this, go slow. Okay? And then I'd go, and only one foot was moving. Only one foot was moving. The other foot would not move. I could turn, but I couldn't enter. So I went back to the kids' classes, and I started throwing kids. <laughs> because with kids, it's pretty easy to walk up to them, okay? It's pretty easy to go, oh, no, there you are. And your feet walk up. And what happened, I realized that once I got this kinesthetic memory of having my feet walk forward and engaging, it generalized to working with the adults. And then one day I was at work. And this was back when we had secretaries and telephones with various lines on them that you punched. And my line lit up and it buzzed. And my secretary said, uh, Dave Scatina is on the line for you, and he's really pissed. And I said, oh, okay, put him through. And I picked it up, and I listened to Dave yell. And we saw, you know, we kind of went back and forth, and then we solved the thing. A week later, I'm in Aikido, doing this, right? And I realized, oh, what I did was when Dave called, I entered. I got out of the way, I resolved the problem. And I also realized that if it had been only a few weeks earlier, I would have said, tell him I'm not in, I'll call him back this afternoon. So it was pretty cool because I discovered that there was this real life application to this stuff that I was learning on the mat. And I didn't have to go through any cognitive dissonance to get there. I didn't have to go through this process of saying, oh, you know, you're really not a very good manager because you're not willing to answer the phone when somebody has a problem, right? Or, you know, you're ducking conflict. I didn't have to go through any of that at all. All I had to do was move my feet, keep doing this, and it translated into the way I behaved in the real world. So this was a huge revelation. And I was thinking, wow, this is great stuff. I can become a better person without ever having to recognize any of my faults. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of the other things I learned about that same time, um, back in the olden days when I was in my, you know, doing my first few belts, uh, I started in 1988. 
uh, our training was not nearly as nuanced as it is now. You were, but the way the rest of us were doing it was, was not quite up to par yet. Um, but I spent a, few, a couple of months with, uh, with Larry Mulholland and with Pete Swingle doing this. Okay? And if you do that 100 times per class, and you take a few classes a week, and you do that for a few months, pretty soon you have a really huge reservoir of having stepped up to a problem and peacefully resolved it. And what I realized is that we all carry around these great big huge bags of stuff, not necessarily baggage, just stuff experience. And some of it is experiences that kind of drag behind us, that keep us from moving our feet forward. Okay. So you've got this big bag of stuff. Meanwhile, you're doing this. And every time you do that, you put a new experience into a different bag. And pretty soon, you've got your old bag that's sitting on a teeter-totter, weighing everything down. And you take your new bag that's all full of wonderful, wonderful positive stuff. You put it on the other end of the teeter-totter and it far outweighs all of that old history that you've been dragging along with you. So that's the reason for training in Aikido. Okay. <clears throat> 